Hey YouTubers, right here. Here we have the Jammer Bag by Roadrunner Bags, and it's quite possibly the best bag that you will ever buy. Over and out. Let's jam this jammer on our jammer bars. First, we're gonna put the strap around the handlebar, and we're gonna loosely put it through the cam buckle, like so. See that? Now that we've gotten the bag on loosely, we're gonna tighten these straps up. Now, pay attention to the buckles. Don't pay attention to this sweet, beautiful gold weld we got here. We're gonna start on buckle one. Now, open the cam buckle up, and then pull it through. A lot of people make the mistake of pulling it through sideways and then it doesn't work. You gotta have this straight through. Have it straight through, tighten it up, close the cam. And on the second one, we do the same thing. Don't get distracted by the sick ass rings. Man, did you hear that? I did. Must be the jammer bag. Okie dokie. Well, we got this bag secured to the handlebars, but it's feeling like a pile of crap, so there's a reason for that. Here at the bottom of the bag, we have this strap that goes underneath the fork crown, between there and the tire, and gets buckled up real quick right here. Tighten that strap up, and sure as shit, that bag will be secure. Voila. Now some of you guys might have a friend like me. I have a friend, Spencer J. Harding. He's the kind of guy that will just cut every long strap off of everything thinking he's saving a gram or two. But here at Roadrunner Bags, there's a function for this. First, you unbuckle this strap from the way it came from manufacturing. And then you bring it back through this D-loop, like so. I guess I'm getting kind of drunk, can't do it. And then you bring it back up and over the handlebar like this back up and over the handlebar. Loosen it a little bit more. Back through the D-loop. And then, up and around, back to that same clip that you had before. Now, just like a mullet, it's all business in the front and party in the back, and I'm gonna show you how it parties hard in the back. The jammer on the back, it's capable of going any width, as far as you want and as narrow as, as you want in the back. There's multiple different adjustment points, and for me in the handlebars, I like going super wide because I go with super wide handlebars. But on the back, if I want to go to say like my Brooks saddle, I put it right in these two sections. Now you got this big spinning wheel and you don't want your jammer pack getting all in it. Well, that makes a lot of goddamn sense. So that's why Roadrunner put this strap here. Same strap that we did on the fork crown in the front, except for this time you're going on the seat stay. You go down through the middle, and then up again, buckle it, tighten it, and there you go. Tight as can be. Don't you like that? Hello there, step three. We're gonna do step three. It's not that hard. We're going to concentrate here on why the strap is so long. It's for a reason. All you got to do is unbuckle it here and kind of undo this strap, go through this D loop, releasing it. Then you go over the saddle rail, like so, back through the D loop. And as you can see, you're about to round the corner again and go back up to this buckle the same way it was. Click it. Tighten it. And now you're super secure and ready for jamming. If you want to be as good as Michael Jordan, make sure that you always take your Scottie Pippen, the jammer bag. Yeehaw! Jamming, baby. Right here. Scottie Pippen, baby. Solid as a rock, baby. Things built for tough. Yee Nothing can stop the jammer. It's too sturdy. Jammer bag made in the worst place to bike, Los Angeles, California.